join me after the scroll and or episode five. Go on. Bonjour. So, and or episode five. Now, I'm not going to hate it, but I did, there were moments when I thought, have I put on episode four again? Because no word of a lie, at the end of episode five, nothing has happened <laughs> since the end of episode four, except we get some quality walking and talking. I mean, it's proper quality walking and talking. The production value, it was all filmed in England and Scotland. So I'm assuming those, and, and they're, they're shot really nicely by um, Susanna White. And we're going to get onto her in a little bit. We're going to get onto a director in a little bit. And it's as though it was a cheaper, uh, like a low budget um, filmmaking because it, it, it's though they need to, to, to make sure they get the production value out of Scotland. It's cost us a lot of money to get up here on, on these mountain guys. So, because they're doing a lot of their walking, and I know we can see it, and it's beautiful, and you get a TIE fighter again. Don't know what these TIE fighters are doing, just scaring the, the sheep, the alien sheep, because you notice they put the little horns on because they really use their imagination with the livestock. Because if you was a guerrilla unit, moving location, wouldn't you kind of want to do that at night? Maybe, I know there might be, it doesn't look like it's rocky, it looks like it's nice rolling vistas, wait, maybe wait for a moon to come out, of, or I don't know, procure some night vision goggles, you know, we are in a sci-fi show, I know that they've got, to, they've got to use low tech, as explained by um, Nemec, the young, the young guy in this, in this series, which, he's such a good character, and he's so nice, and like well, a well balanced individual. I know he's gonna get it. I know he's gonna get it because I'm really coming, to, really getting to like the guy. And so he's got to, he's got to get it. I mean, I don't know if they're all gonna die like in Road One. Um, sorry if that was a massive spoiler. Um, but by now, I think you've all seen it. And if you're watching Andor, you must. Well, wow. Sorry, I've really spoilt it. If <laughs> to be fair, <laughs> apologies. I'll have to put that up, something up on the description. But the walking and talking, it just goes nowhere. All right, it's in the daytime. I can put up with that. And like I've said before, you only start nitpicking this stuff when like kind of nothing's moving along. Like I'm looking at the sheep in this episode and I remembered seeing the extra horns on them in another episode, but I think I was quite enjoying it at that point. I think that was last episode, was it? I think that was when someone got sent to walk to the pen to fix a post. I think that was one of the, the highlighted scenes in that episode. And it, I wouldn't mind if they, they was getting on with it because I am enjoying the story and the intrigue and I am enjoying the way that they're, the, the, the tension they're building with this, this group that's gonna put on this heist. It's all great uh, heist movie or heist story build up. And I'm liking the characters in it. I'm liking all of them. And they really are coloring them all in nicely and they've all got their role to play and I am I'm liking that the only kind of loose bit in it is the, the lieutenant gone and they said that oh why is he part of the rebellion I don't you know you tell me about him can I trust him yeah because he fell in love with someone here and they found out and demoted him but then left him in charge of the garrison this lieutenant got I didn't quite get that Maybe I should have rewound it and there might be a, a detail there that I'm missing out on. But why would you do that? Why would the Empire do that? I mean, we're, they need the old security guard, I think, to join the Empire. I forget his name, old Carl. Is it Carl Holler, the, the actor's name? Now, every time I... Do you know what? I want to find out more about his arc in this series. I'm more intrigued by his story arc in this than I am in of Endor's. Maybe it's because I know Andor gets it eventually. Nevertheless, I should be wanting to see more Andor. I should be 
or, or a, you know, give him a relationship with the with the rebel group. Lee, give him something for me to hold on to. This security guard now he's gone back home and his mum's giving him hard time. Oh, she's a piece of work. Um, oh, telling him he's always you know he's never he's always been useless and he's just sitting there boiling, he's seething that he's just messing around with his Star Wars cocoa pops. Brilliant. I'm, I'm loving his. I'm loving his arc. Now, the dialogue as well. It, it's it's really good. Like the the writing is by uh, Dan Gilroy, who is um, the brother of Tony Gilroy, for this episode. So I don't know if they collaborate on the dialogue with the um, etc. etc. Et and all that. Except the dialogue somehow that the dialogue they've given to is it Mon Mothma the the, the the posh birds family. Oh my God! They introduce us to the daughter. God knows why the, the, these scenes are in here. God knows why they needed an editor um, with a, a, a meat cleaver on some of this, and it could have made tight. Um, like my good old friend uh, Space Lizard has said about the formatting of Disney Plus, and he was right on the. He was he, he got it way back when he he, he said I think he said it with um, Mandalorian. It was certainly Book of Boba Fett. But the formatting of it, and just drop them all together, like. But they've got to get us back to the platform every week. We're never going to get, we're never going to get good shows, let alone a good format. So he might as well fly off on his spaceship and relocate to another planet where they do that. But but he is right about the formatting. But nevertheless, they it would still need cutting down to make like episodes four and five would have made that decent build up episode. For the heist, if we're going to get it next episode, if we're going to get it, I've got a I've got a bad feeling about this. See what I did there? <laughs> that we ain't going to see the ice for another two or three episodes yet. They've got to deliver this heist next week. They've got to because we've had a nice build up now, and it's taken it's taken us as an audience two weeks. It'll be. So yeah, it'll be two weeks by the time we get to next episode, won't it? From when we watched episode four starting to build up. This, this this heist to when we actually get to see it so come on just 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 get on with it now but the daughter she just strolls in face like a slapped ass uh, you know i get it you get it with dad uh, yeah, we don't like you and it she was the way she was talking i don't know i thought she was going to come in with she might as well come in with the old ear pods in and listening to some rap music old um what's her name was she old she might as well have had a bit of that music on and you hear it all that going in her ears or she just takes one out and goes, what? What'd you say? Because it was totally jarring. It was like plonking a girl from, literally a young girl from England sitting in a Star Wars set. Like um, she might have won a competition, maybe. She might have won a competition from the BBC, like starring in, you know, get a place in Star Wars maybe. That was really jarring. This episode, directed by Susanna White, she directed um, a film called Woman Walks Ahead. <laughs> now, and I think she directed last week's episode as well, Susanna White. And when I found this out, I think you've, oh, you've got to like, You've got to laugh, like, you, I, I can't get over it. Woman walks ahead. And it was a Western with, um, oh, the French actress in it, the French, um, ginger, oh, I think she's got a French name, anyway. Woman walks ahead. It's a Western with a woman in the lead and no violence because she, she's literally been interviewed. I watched an interview of her where she says, oh no, oh no, these Westerns, you know. Mm, there's a lot of gunfighting in them. Ooh, there's a lot of violence. When you watch a western, there's always a shootout. And a... hello, well, maybe that's the point they're missing now. With Andor, with Star Wars in the title, you know, did she sit down with the writers and go, "Oh, this is a bit sci-fi, isn't it? Can't we have them walking around a bit in the in the lovely mountains we've got? Like we've got the lovely scenery." Can't we ever walking around and maybe chatting about it? Um, and if we're gonna, oh, if we're gonna have some violence, oh, if we're gonna have blasters, what, ray, ray guns, mm, 
oh, can we leave that to episode 10 or 12 when they get to the place they're walking to, maybe? Walking and talking? Um, <laughs> but nevertheless, I am cutting this show a lot of slack. I will hold my hand up. I will admit I'm, sh I'm cutting this show a lot of slack because those first three episodes, let's call it the pilot, were so decent. And I know I'm comparing it to the rest of the, the drivel they've, they've done, old dismal. But it was so good that... And I'm listening to me... to, to, to the, Not just spaces, but others that are saying about, yeah, you know, they should be... But nevertheless, whatever format you're working in, you've got to deliver. So if you're working in these half-hour, kind of 35 minute ish formats, then come on, deliver. But I am cutting them slack because they did... I'm calling it the pilot episode... And really, this should be episode four and five should be episode two in any kind of traditional TV I care about what I'm making world. But anyway, that's not the world of Dismal Minus, is it? So without going into the... Well, I was just going to... Literally just going to say without going into the story, I've just told you it. I've just told you it. You see, you see more... I, I know I don't normally go this spoiler heavy, but... <laughs> <laughs> there's no big spoilers to drop you know I can't tell you I can't edit out anything out of this video where I go oh I told them that so and so was going to do such and such because they don't they do not just anyway I don't want to put anyone off but with with this uh, review in a, in a way because I'm still hanging on and I always do it with Dismal and we, me and Desmond Minus have got this relationship where I try to love them and they kick me in the balls. And I'm still, with Andor, I'm still trying to love you, Dismal. I really am. Maybe next time, and I say this every week with Shout as well, but anyway, I'm going to stop there because all I'm doing now is waffling because that's the gist of it. Nothing happens. And on that bombshell, I will bid you adios. Thank <laughs> you.